I've been around for a long time uh, dating online. And I've seen a lot of weird stuff. I've seen a lot of weird profiles and like kooky profiles. Um, this is the craziest profile that I have ever come across. This is a profile. It's like a dominatrix. It's a couple. It's a it's a woman who's 55 years old, and a guy who's in his 50s or 60s. I don't know. I saw a picture of him. Uh, but I don't know his age. Uh, and they're like a dominatrix couple who are looking for another partner to dominate the female. It's weird as hell. It's so weird. It's something you expect to see in like a movie or like a fake story. Uh, but this is an actual profile. I, it's kind of boring reading text, but I find this profile really like intriguing. Uh, so it might be a boring video, but I'm just going to read. It's, go, it's a long profile. Uh, this guy, the guy wrote it, and he took a lot of time writing this profile. It's been up here. I've been seeing this profile for like a few months, probably like three or four months. I don't know if anyone has taken them up on their on their offer. The woman is not attractive. Uh, she's shaped like the opposite of an hourglass. She's shaped like the opposite of an hour, like like small on the top. Like small shoulders. She has big boobs, but the boobs like sag and like they just turn into her stomach, so it just adds to the stomach. So it's just like a small, big, small type of shape. She's not a tra she's like a four. I give her a four. Uh even if she was a twelve, I would not take them up on this offer. Now, well, let me just start reading this. This is a newly revised profile that reflects my our kink, our increased kink needs and desires. If you read my profile before, I hope that you will continue reading to see what's new. So he keeps revising this. This is actually a profile for a couple that is unique in some let ways. I know that everybody says they are unique. Read in and decide for yourself. I am the male half who is writing this, and we are deciding. Uh, we are looking to stretch our boundaries further, a lot further. I am an experienced dom, and she is. A, this goes into the world of like doms and subs. It's really, it's kind of cool. Uh, I am an experienced dom, and she is a sub who is wonderfully responsive. We are from Brooklyn, New York. She's the single most orgasmic girl I've ever encountered, and NBSP, I don't know what that means, which is incredibly satisfying and eager to offer herself fully. She loves to be overpowered and taken forcibly and loves to please however she possibly can. This is real life. We have previously had another male dom join us in what was an amazing encounter. Oh, so, okay, so someone actually did take them up on their offer. Some psychopath. I should be clear that I am 100% straight and all sexual contact was with her. Currently, we are looking for one of three scenarios. But if, but only if the person, what are the three scenarios? But only if the person we invite is in harmony with our interests and attitudes. The three scenarios are having a bisexual girl, yeah, no shit, preferably someone who will be aggressive towards my sub and submissive towards me, having a male dom join us who will have tremendous freedom to express his desires, but always respecting my ultimate authority. Yeah, fucking gay. This is just stupid, <laughs> but always respecting my ultimate authority as her dom. In other words, he and I must work well together, not as separate entities that are competing. That's where I couldn't join in. I would come in and be like, okay, I need you to leave because I can't see your penis flopping around. I just want to have sex with the chick, so I need you to go. Uh, a couple who would like to join us both uh, socially and sexually. We invite any questions or are happy to adapt to any specific requests. There is something I feel strongly about, and I am vocal in expressing it. By its nature, BDSM, so yeah, he's a total BDSM. This is the BDSM world. It's obviously about control, submission, respect, and desire. Respect. However, this is often abused and can turn into something unhealthy. How is it about respect? It's about respect. The Dom, though, doesn't respect the, the, I guess, maybe holding back on some severe stuff. But how would the Dom respect this up? However, this is often abused. That's I think that's what my dad told me as he, like, punished me. I, it's because I respect you. After he pulled my hair. However, this is often abused and can turn into something unhealthy if these qualities are enforced by people who are unaware and uncaring. Here's what I mean. There are responsibilities on the both on the both of part dom and sub. A dom is responsible for safeguard and safety, training, discipline, <laughs> and pleasure of the sub in charge. Many men who claim to be dom are actually bullies looking to exploit and experience, or just weird, creepy fucking guys. The sub's welfare does not matter to them, and in my view, such men are selfish and offensive. A sub also has her responsibilities. She is responsible to understand her needs and desires before she simply surrenders them. 
she's responsible. He's like, I like how he turns it into like a lesson, like a, not a history lesson, but like just a lesson, like an, an educational lesson about subs and doms. It's really like cool to learn about the world, like what's going on out there, what craziness is happening out there. Uh, but this is this is like this is his life. It sounds like she's responsible to use discernment or to decide if a particular dom is worthy of trust and respect. If a dom, if a sub offers herself without having standards of behavior, the gift she offers has less value. And then he gets a little crazy. And that doesn't make any sense. I'm on a yeah, and then more more sense not making. I'm on a soapbox with this topic, but I have seen many sincere girls get hurt by men who are assholes because of this. However, when a sub does find a dom that she truly respects and trusts, then she has a responsibility to open herself ball. This is what BDSM is all about. This is what BDSM is all about. Uh, I don't know if that's what BDSM is all about. I think this is just this guy's version of BDSM. I mean, I'm not calling all BDSM people like crazy. Uh, this is just too much for me. This is too much for me. This is a lot for me in my world. I am weird. I mean, if you've seen my other videos, I say if you found some little gold nuggets of how weird I am. Uh, I'm strange, but this is like very, very strange. I'm not into threesomes at all, unless it's two girls. And even if it was two girls, I don't even know. I only have one penis. Like, what am I going to do? I can't. And it would still be weird. Like, I'm putting my penis in one girl and then my penis in another girl. It's like gross and weird. And if it was two guys, there's no way. That's I know a lot of guys run trains on girls and like it's all crazy stuff going on out there. But I can't. I'm very like conservative when it comes to just one person and another person having sex. Now, after that, I have weird stuff. But I can't involve anyone else. Now, this is what BDSM is about. And this is amazing at this level. It heals old wounds. And I don't think this is true, but maybe it is. I don't know. It heals old wounds, opens you to grow emotionally and spiritually, and allows for the most awesome, mind-blowing sexual experience. It has some other funny stuff in here that he wrote. More to come. Still back. You know, who wants to write? Oh, he's supposed to be, he's writing it in terms of her. It's weird, like, her profile is like her, like, that. one of her pictures is just her like this. Like, passed out in a chair. I don't know what type of stuff is going on in that household. I don't know if she knows the pictures that he's using and putting up here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if she knows 100%. Maybe she really is the sub and the submissive person and that she doesn't know what's going on. Earth-shattering orgasms. I don't see how it would be different than a regular orgasm. How would it be more like someone whipping me or me whipping someone? I don't even think I could whip someone. I don't think I could do it. And I mean, unless the girl likes it, sure, I could do it when the girl likes it. But it doesn't give me like a better orgasm. It's just cool to do. I spent a lot of time thinking about sex. Yeah. This is what was weird. Social justice. I spent a lot of time thinking about social justice. Like he couldn't have lost me any more in this profile. Who thinks about social justice? Even social justice warriors don't say they're doing social justice. They don't even say that. They don't. They don't talk about social justice. I can't. I can't handle. I can't deal with social justice warriors. Social justice. I hate it so much. Uh, I. I already have a problem with this guy. Uh, dominance and submission. The spiritual nature of the universe. My children. Typical Friday night. There is no. You're not for this guy. So this is like. This is. This is really as as weird as I ever have come across profiles. This is the weirdest profile I've ever come across. You should message me if the thought of my very large and oh yeah she has big boobs but they sag into her stomach, so it's just like a big stomach. The thought of my very large and sensitive breasts make you squirm. No, if you are a female with dominant. No, nah. if you are a male dom that likes the scenario. Nope. If you are able to share this amazing experience with my boyfriend. Yeah, but you're the guy writing it. The two of you in tandem. No, I don't want to be in tandem with some guy. He has every intention of giving as much time and space as you require. Well, obviously not. He he said it's it's up to his rules. He's not going to give me my space. I can't tell him to leave the room, even if you were attractive. If you have me restrained, he will gladly step back. Blah 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 blah. And the next president should be the obvious answer is anyone but Donald Trump. Donald Trump. But it's hard to feel good about voting for a negative and then some some uh, politi political nonsense. This is like um, this is what I fear of becoming though. I fear of becoming this. 
I fear because she's fifth. This is their fifty-five or like fifty-something years old, which I I will have sex with fifty-year-olds. I have no problem. It doesn't make a difference to me. But I fear as I get older, because as you get older, you get weirder and weirder. Uh, I fear that I'm going to become like someone like this. I'm going to go into some weird. Like I'm saying, it's crazy now, but in like twenty years from now, I'm going to think it's like a, the normal thing for me. And I'm going to become like a dom and I'm going to be part of like some weird world with dominatrixes and submissive people. And I'm going to have whips and wear leather chaps, assless chaps. I'm going to go into some weird, crazy world. I fear doing this. I knew a woman, I used to work with this chick who she, in her younger years, she probably wasn't as crazy. She was always promiscuous. But like as she got older, she told me that her boyfriend would piss on her Uh she would they go in the shower and then she would get pissed on and i've talked to a woman who gets pissed on uh that's the type of stuff and she's like 50 something years old that's the type of stuff that i could never do i can don't even see myself doing in the future but who who knows what's going to happen in the future i don't know how weird i'm going to get this is the problem with like going on uh just constantly hunting down women (laughs) this is because when you when you're putting sex so, uh, as like a priority, uh, it it does, and especially when you're watching porn. Uh, I I I watch porn every now and again, but when you watch porn, uh, it makes it even more weird, and and it ups the level of like intensity that you need to get off. You need like more and more intensity, and I have a fear of becoming like this. Hopefully, I never become like this, um, ever. But who knows? <laughs>